Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a love reading for Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Please keep in mind, Capricorn, that these readings are very general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything's subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect, and... Um, the roles can be reversed. What that means is this could be something that you're doing or going on around you. This could be something that uh, your person is doing or going on around them. Or you could be a family member or a friend that's going through this and you just happen to know about it, okay? All right. If you need or want to get a reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and your situation, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first-time clients who get their first reading with me, so definitely take advantage of that, okay? All right. Capricorn, I'm really hoping this is a good one. <sighs> Let me see. All right, Spirit, what's going on for Capricorn in love? Show me Capricorn in love. Okay, someone here has got anger management issues. And that's like the, the missing piece of the puzzle. Someone's got some anger issues. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show me Capricorn in love, please. Or I'm here in Aquarius. Show me Capricorn in love. Yeah, putting them in their place, okay? Somebody here is going to get put in their place here. I hate nothing about you. It's like there's going to be a massive fight, and someone's going to get put into their place. This person doesn't hate you, but it's going to seem that way. It's going to seem that way, okay? But I feel like they need anger management. I do feel like they need anger management. It's like they it's like they pop off. It's like somebody wants I got chills. Yeah, somebody here wants to dominate you. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna work for a Capricorn. Oh, show me Capricorn in love, please. What's going on for uh fighting for what you love, claiming what's yours, love is a battlefield. There's I'm telling you, there's a fight coming. There's a massive fight coming between you and somebody else. I feel like somebody here has got like an attitude problem. I feel like your person's got an attitude problem. Why is anger management here for Capricorn? Why is anger management here for Capricorn? Anger management for Capricorn. Why is this here? Why is this here for Capricorn's love interest? Uh, yeah, telekinesis taking charge of your life. Somebody really needs to get a handle on their anger. Wow, someone needs anger management. Yeah, there's a massive fight coming. Wow. Someone needs to, like, take control of their anger and deal with their shit. Putting them, you could be putting someone in their place or someone's going to get mad and put you in your place. And they're really going to be nasty about it, actually. Why is putting them in their, in their place here for Capricorn and love? Why is this here? Power. Exert your influence, focus, energy, and intention. Somebody here's intention is to overpower you. By by using anger to control you. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not laughing about it because it's not funny. But I don't like it. It's, it's, it's someone uses their anger to control the other person. Someone, because look, putting them in their place and power. Someone wants to overpower the other person and they're going to use anger to do so. To, someone's controlling. Someone's controlling. Like, very controlling. I hate nothing about you. Why is this here? It's then, the, then it's like they want to apologize for their tantrum, their whole ass adult tantrum and trying to control you. They need to deal with their shit, seriously. But then they want to apologize and fight for the connection after they've done really flew off at the mouth. Again, this could be your person, Capricorn, or it could be you. Okay, why is I hate nothing about you here? Why is this here? Luna Moth, Faith, Psychic Ability, and Rest. Somebody here is going to have to rest after this. It's going to be very draining on somebody when this happens. I feel like it's going to drain the it's gonna drain the shit out of you. Seriously, spiritually, emotionally, psychically, 
very emotionally draining. This person's really going to have a, an angry outburst, like a really bad angry outburst. They're going to be snarling at their mouth. They're going to be foaming at the mouth. They're really about to lose their shit. So I, I don't know if it's you or your person, but, but someone is using their anger to control the other person. And then, then once they have their blow up and they come down, then they feel guilty for all the things they said, how they act and how they were controlling, trying to exert power over you. Um, they're telling you have faith in us, have faith in us, but, and then they want to fight for the connection. But before they were just cussing you out, calling you out by your name and really putting you down and belittling you and degrading you. And then now they want to offer a cup of love here. You need to get the uh, tarot cards, the future answers and help. You need a reading because I feel like this hasn't happened yet, but it's about to, it's about to, it's about to. Yep, you need to get a relationship reading. Protect your finances at this time as well. This person is going to be obsessed with trying to make things work with you after they throw like this whole ass fucking tantrum. This person's controlling. This person really has got a nasty mouth. Seriously, I'm not even playing with you. This person likes to use anger to control you. Then they want to come back and apologize and say all the nice things. Please have faith in us while you're trying to rest and recover from how, you know, literally someone being totally freaking ice cold to you and being hateful to you. Someone here is hateful. Mm hmm. And they need to, they need to deal with it. They need to deal with their shit. Then they want to come in and fight for the love and offer you a cup of love. That's abuse Capricorn. I'm sorry. It's abuse. You need to get a reading. Oh, you need to get a reading, honey. Or a cross watcher. You need to get a reading if Capricorn's doing this to you. All right, let's look at your person. Wow. I was hoping it was going to be good. All right, Spirit, show me Capricorn, please, in love. Show me Capricorn, or show me Capricorn's person, please. Show me Capricorn's person, please. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who is confident takes charge takes charge in their life but she does have one eye that's bloody and her throat is slit somebody here is cutthroat when they're with their mouth someone here is like cutthroat with their mouth i don't know if it's your person or you all right tell me more about capricorn's person aries leo Sagittarius. yeah she's missing an eye you can't see it but it's right there she has an eye that's been gouged out and her throat's been slit. Somebody here is literally like cutthroat. Show me Capricorn's person in love. Capricorn's person in love, please. The Hermit, Virgo energy. They need to do some self-reflection on why they're so, so cutthroat. They got anger issues. They really do. They have anger issues. Show me, show me Capricorn's person, please. Capricorn's person, please, in love. Capricorn's person, in love. Ooh, okay. Yep, seven of cups in reverse. This person needs to get very clear about why it is that they do this. It's like they, I feel like they, they act like this when they don't get their way. Tell me more. They need to do some serious self-reflection because they're really doing some serious damage to the relationship with this. The lovers, Gemini energy. Um, okay, okay. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Your person may be getting really cutthroat with you and nasty with you, and and then after the blow up and everything, they get silent. You're gonna get clarity that they have so they have somebody else. Lovers here. That they have somebody else. And that's why they're acting like this. They're really acting out of pocket. Like really low blows. Unnecessary. Uncalled for. Immature. Really below the belt kind of stuff. Really cutthroat. Show me this queen of wands please. Show me the queen of wands please. Page of wands in reverse. Yeah this person is horrible at communication. We're talking about really hateful. Petty. Immature. Cutthroat communication. <sighs> show me the hermit please yeah then they want to be alone and left out then then they wonder why you leave them out in the cold well you leave them out in the cold and you don't talk to them you leave them alone because they just they just went off on you 
you're not going to talk to somebody who just went off on you. But you're, I feel like you're going to get clarity this person as somebody else. Why is the Seven of Cups here reversed? The lovers again, Gem, more Gemini energy. Somebody here, okay, a separate storyline here. Your person could be blowing up because they find out that you have another lover. And if it isn't you, then this person is blowing up because they have another lover and they're just, they, they're that damn defensive. They're trying to protect a secret by using anger to control the narrative. Show me the lovers. Show me lovers. Seven of cups in reverse. It's mirroring each other. You're going to get clarity about this or, you know, it could be your person that's um, getting clarity that there is another lover. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at you. Show me Capricorn in love, please, regarding this relationship. Capricorn in love, please. Capricorn in love. Three of cups in reverse. You could be a third party, Capricorn, and... Yeah. Two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, listen. Wow. Okay, five of wands in the moon. So here's the deal, Capricorn. This, I don't know if you know this or not. You could actually be a third party and have freaking no idea that you're actually a third party. Okay, because we got the Three of Cups coming in reverse out for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. When you find out about this, you're going to challenge this person. Okay? Because they're juggling you. There's other people. There's competition here. And it's a secret with the moon card. Could be dealing with a tour, another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But you're going to challenge them on this. Wow. And this person's going to try to use anger and intimidation and put you in your place to keep you from being honest with about, about what's going on. Tell me more about Capricorn, please. Because there's a lot of clarity. There's clarity definitely coming out about another lover. Show me Capricorn, please, in love. The hanged man. Pisces energy. Um, It's going to take you back. Like It's going to cause you to step back and pause for a second. Because you're like, what? Yeah. You're going to be finding out that your person, or the person you've been dealing with, sleeping with, fucking whatever, actually has somebody else. You are the third party. I don't think you knew because you, the way it's looking is that there's a lot of clarity. Because we got the seven of cups reverse clarity with the lover's card on top of that. Then we got the lover's card with the seven of cups reverse. There's clarity coming out, period, about a third party. And I feel honestly, Capricorn, that you have been the third party and you didn't know about it. Because it's taking it's going it's gonna be like a cut to the cut to the gut, you know, like a like a like it's gonna it's gonna hit you in the gut because you didn't know. Tell me more about Capricorn, please, and love regarding this relationship. Yeah, the world in reverse. Or you're finding out that your person is acting like this because they have a third party. You're finding out. The site there's a cycle that hasn't completed yet, or this situation isn't over yet, but it's gonna cause you to take pause. There will be no more movement forward here with the chariot in reverse. Cancer energy also. Aries and Sagittarius. There is no more movement forward. Tell me more, please. Once this is once this is revealed. Show me Capricorn, please, in love. Boy, oh boy. Four of Swords. You're up. You're gonna pull back your energy. You're gonna pull. I don't think you're gonna say anything. I think you're gonna ghost them once you find out the truth. And I feel like you might tell their person the truth or if you find out your person's cheating on you and you're not actually the third party, you're going to leave this person high and dry and like ice cold. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to freeze them out. Done. Like done, done. Show me, why is the three of cups here in reverse showing up for Capricorn? The moon is hidden. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is hidden from you. It is really, there's a lot of illusion. There's a lot of stuff that's hidden. The hangman, please. Why is this here? You waited for this person. You took a pause and you realize this person is non-committal. They just don't want to commit Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're keeping a lot of secrets from you. Why is the world in reverse? The world in reverse. Three of Pentacles here. 
you thought you guys were going to work on something together. Maybe you do work together. It's possible. There could be a Scorpio involved as well. This person's going to be pissed when they find out if you are, in fact, a third party. They're going to be pissed. But there's like, you thought that you guys were going to work together here on something, but there's no collaboration. There's no support. Show me the four of swords. You're going to be pulling back your energy from this person. But this person does not want you to open your mouth. Mm -mm. No, nope. four of swords, please. You could be the third party. You could be the one who's getting cheated on, or you could be the one who's losing their their marbles. Have you know <laughs> bad temper moment because you have a third party. So I don't know where you are in that. Show me the four of swords, please. Why is this here for Capricorn? Eight of swords in reverse. The truth. It's like when the Eight of Swords in the upright is something that you know is going on, but you can't prove it. When it's in reverse, now you can prove it. And then you pull back for the Four of Swords or you retreat from this. You waited for the truth or you waited for this person. It's like you waited for this person to give you the truth because you felt like something was off about them. And you were right. Or they felt like something was off about you. But I feel for some reason, I really feel like Capricorn, you were the third party. You have were up in your head about this. It was causing instability for you. What's the potential outcome for this? Potential outcome, please, for this relationship for Capricorn. King of Swords reverse. This person is a liar, and they're very verbally abusive. They're going to really fly off at the mouth, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, at you. They're really going to say some really hateful Really disgusting, nasty thing. This is a nasty person who's got a nasty mouth. I'm serious. What's their potential outcome? They're lying to you. Potential outcome. They're lying to you because they're juggling you. They have a choice to make between you and someone else. Potential outcome, please, of this relationship. They might be with someone from the past. The Scorpio energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me more, please. They're very, man, they're ready to fight. They're very, very, very defensive. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very defensive. Yep. Then they want to apologize after that. What else, please? But you're going to be moving forward away from this person, I feel. Yep, you're going to get away from this person. Six of Swords, more Aquarius energy. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say. Wow. Let's see. What guidance do you have? Okay. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. I'm keen. I feel like you moving forward is going to bring you prosperity away from this person. You got work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio. I'm telling you, there's a Scorpio involved some way, somehow. What else, please, for Capricorn? And what do you need to release? You're, you're going to release this person once you find out the truth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. All right, Capricorn, that has been your reading. That was intense. If you want to get a reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and situation, my email is in the description box below. Um, I do give $10 off for first time clients who get their first, first reading with me. Um, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please take care of yourself, okay? Take care of yourself. All right. I love you guys till next time. Bye.